Yeah, how with the Exeter 705 today? Um, it's been raining overnight and it's raining this morning. My boots have got mud on them, look, I'm caked in it. Um, but what I have noticed already is the Exterra uh, 705 seems to be going deeper today. I've already had a few targets, nothing spectacular, but you know, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going and we'll see what we find, see how it performs. Well, I've got a target down here. I don't understand what all the numbers are, so I can't tell you out. What I can tell you is I'm running in uh, coin plus mode, I don't know if you can see that on there, to stabilise it, and I've also been using auto track. Um, I'll dig this and we'll have a look. Well, there it is, whatever it is. I think it's just a bit of crap. Yeah, it's a bit of that um, old electric, electric wiring, a piece of that. Oh well, carry on. Another signal there. You Xterra 3 at 705 users will probably say, don't dig it. Anyway, we'll dig it and we'll have a lot. I've no idea what I'm digging. Well, I dug it, I don't know. About five, nah, maybe six, six seven inches deep. It was modern junk, well, some plastic there I can see. Oh well, next target. Well, I've dug uh, quite a bit of rubbish up. I've just dug this one. It sounded a bit of a good signal. And there it is, look. Can you see it? One penny. 1919. Yeah, good nick that one. Good, a first coin of the day. Let's carry on. Well, just dug another target, probably about four inches down. There it is, I can see the edge of it. It's another penny. Uh, Worse worth for wear by the look of it. But hey, another penny, another coin. Let's carry on. Right, wind's getting up. Another target there. This one's a bit different because was there's loads of trash in there. Uh, I think it's in here. I make... Don't know what I'm gonna find because there was loads of there was loads and loads of iron in that in that uh Put my gloves on. Oh dear, this looks like a ring pull to me. <laughs> yeah, but it found it, it found it amongst the iron. It could have been a gold ring, but well, it's a ring pull. 1970s, early 80s, brilliant. Carry on. Well, I'm doing all right. I've got a few targets. Uh, I know a lot of you dig up tap handles, but I've just dug up full tap. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. I'm not carrying that home. Yeah, I'll carry on. Well, I just had a couple of minutes break. I've just stayed up again. Got a bit of... Well, I want a dodgy signal. It was a good signal, you know. Dug it. I thought it was a ring pull. And look, I got myself a Spitfire. <laughs> How cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's lead or I think it's bronze or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's old. Yeah, a little spitty, a little spit of fire. Brilliant. I put it in my finds bag, and we'll carry on. See what else we can get. Well, I'm coming to the end of me few hours of me uh, uh, Xterra 705. A few hours I'm having out. Um, You've got something here somewhere. I don't know what it is. I always say that, don't I? Huh, is that it? <laughs> uh, it looks like a big. It looks like it's copper, <laughs> copper nut or something. I can't see it being copper, but that's what it looks like. It's got a nice patina. Yeah, um, I had quite a few bits, little bits out, so I can't moan. I think it's. I think the Xterra 705. Uh, gold has performed better on the on this soil that's damp. You know, the conductivity of the items is better, so obviously it works better like that. That's my opinion. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll carry on. Do a little bit more, and then I'm finished. See you soon. Yeah, well, and I've got a ring on. Something in this though. Here we go. We we'll have to swap hands, aren't I? 
the old camera on that. It's in here. Okay, where is that? Oh, is that it? Yep. Tiny piece of lead. Okay, I'm going to carry on. Well, I was just going to give up on this thinking it was a Coke can, but there it is, lot. Regimental badge. Cat badge, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, nice. Cool. I'll clean that up later on and we'll have a look at that. Okay, just about done, like I say. So, yeah, it's been a good day. Sun's out now. I'm going to go get me dinner. <laughs> See you later, guys. Well, I'm home now. Um, I think the exterior 705 Gold performed better today. Maybe because the soil was wet. I, I don't know, damp. I thought it felt it was better, or maybe it was just the way I was using it. Anyway, fines. I got, I've just given them a quick wash, a little spitfire there, look, got this, now I don't know if, I thought it was the end of a walking cane, but maybe it's a sprinkler, I don't know, maybe somebody can tell me, uh, a few copper bits, uh, let me just dry that, a badge there, can't read it because I haven't got my glasses on but it says Army Service Corps on it Royal Army Service Corps um, again I always like finding badges and stuff but I know some of you guys think it's not very old well that's fine I found that I don't think it's I don't think it's a musky ball I think it might be a lead weight like a fishing weight but in the middle of a field uh, also found this I do not know what that is if anyone can help me with that recognize what that is sort of bronze feels bronzy um, a one penny bad condition a one penny good condition 2p still wet look and a 1p that's all the copper all the change I got coins uh, lead always get plenty of lead um, got some more lead in there. Bit more lead there. Yeah. Um, this, if you can see that, with a design on, I think that might have been a bell. You know, by the shape of it, it looks like a bell shape. So it could have been a bell. That. I also found a couple of pieces of this. If anyone can remember what that is. Again, it looks like it's copper or bronze. It's got all them lines on the inside though, look. There. Uh, you can see that on this camera. Excuse the noise from the traffic. And there's another piece that I found further in the field. Don't know what it is. It feels like it could be copper or, I don't know, bronze or something. Some more bits there. Uh, junk. Like I say, the exterior did well today, I thought. Bit of copper there. Copper wire, I've got a bullet. Always get bullets, I'm sure you lot do. Um, and then there's a tiny 2-2 two, two, two bullet it found as well there. And then to save all, all going through all that lot, that's all what's left in the sort of the junk. Some more lead. Um, yeah, lead ring pulls, copper nails, copper screw. So I think it did all right, yeah. I think it did all right. So I'm I'm, imp I'm impressed with it, guys. I never said I wasn't for anybody who thought that the last video was compared, taking, um, making out the MXT Pro to be better. I never said that. 
I said I thought that the MOT, MXT Pro performed better, maybe deeper. I didn't say it was a better machine. I don't think it is. I think they're both equally as good um, in their own right. So yeah, there you go then. So I'll, I'll upload this and I'll talk to you all later. Yeah, that's enough now. Bye.